So I had a thought, I made a decision, and I don't care if it's a stupid decision because I want to try it, and I don't care. Um, I'm experimenting with things, and that's just what's happening right now. And I understand that there's going to be economic consequences, but quite frankly, I'm, you know, not worried about that. I don't care. So what I decided to do was I'm going to um, test the... Uh, the high side, um, super vac, uh, tireless stuff as an adjunct kind of supplement to the zoom lock. So this is, I'm going out of my own pocket for this stuff. So I spent like 85 bucks. I shouldn't have, cause I have metal at the pawn shop. <laughs> Um, so I bought this stuff and I'm going to uh, test it at work. Um, I think that primarily where I'm going to like reach for it will be if I have to go, um, to aluminum. Um, I think I will, uh, instead of messing around with because uh, I've I'm I've watching videos of guys soldering aluminum. I think I can do it. It's not a problem. It's just it's a it's an art skill thing that you're dealing with different temperatures. You gotta. It, it's just one of those things where you you want to practice and learn, and not necessarily on the job with people looking over your shoulder when you're supposed to be highly experienced in it. Um, not regular brazing, it's nothing. It's done probably 10,000 hours of, of brazing. But uh, going from copper to aluminum, um, or doing aluminum by itself, I don't have that uh, experience under my belt at this point. So I, uh, I think going copper to aluminum, I will, uh, I'll be taking advantage of the zoom lock. And because of my general mistrust of anything that is not uh, welded is going to just be part of it is going to include this high point um, thread. Uh, it's not even thread sealant. It's a solderless pipe bonding chemical um, where I'm going to deviate from both manufacturers recommended course of action is you know i'm gonna um obviously do the the zoom lock to to manufacture specs and depths and all that um but i'm going to be using probably a quarter of the recommended amount of this high point or solderless connection and i'm not going to be uh doping the inside of the pipe or uh, i'm not going to be doping or uh, within a quarter inch of the uh, edge of the pipe or uh, meaning the i don't want necessarily any of this product or uh, getting inside the pipe i simply want it pretty much from the o-ring back to atmosphere if I have that O-ring cabinet um, pretty well wet with uh, this product and then that, you know, three quarters of an inch uh, back to the edge of the zoom lock fitting and nothing else, I'll feel like I did it perfect. So it'll be like a, a ring. It'll be like a ring around the pipe, um, not at the edge and not, you know, at the, uh, at the cap of the, uh, joint, you know, but basically the goal is to dope up the O-ring without going on the inside of the fitting where I would push it into the pipe. I'm going to aim for the O-ring on the pipe and then try to slide it into that, that depth. Um, that's going to be my tactic, and I'm, I'm actually really, 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 really excited to try it. I think it'll be, uh, you know, I think Zoom, it's going to be, it's like impossible to tell 
but it would be like one of those things where it would be like a, a, if you went side to side with a vacuum, you know, you had two pipes with a, a micron gauge at the uh, end of each pipe and five connections, you know, five with zoom lock, five with zoom lock and the, uh, the added high side uh, super vac uh, chemical um applied in that manner and i would be surprised just based on physics or uh, pure physics nothing proven just theoretical what i feel sound logic um that you would see it, it, it improved tightness uh and and if the product holds true longevity uh, they're saying it's compatible with all refrigerants and refrigerant oils and all that. So again, I picked up two bottles. I'm not going to use it independently ever for any reason that I can imagine. But I'm going to be using it in conjunction uh, with the original style Made in America or uh, Zoomlock products. Again, not a nationalist. Um, I like the idea of Made in America purely for this, the the rational sense of if we become a, a closed national estate, those, those products will still be available. Um, and if not, then hopefully they're still available because it looks like they're not going away. Which is good because I bought the tool. Oh, but I'm not going to use it by itself unless... So here's the thing. I'm going to go out of pocket for these two things. And then I'm going to tell my boss, I'm going to be like, look, I did this. I, I think at some point I just have to start making decisions. And I, look, I have a company credit card. I just don't use it. I don't use it. You know, I use my credit card and I buy this stuff. And I think my boss is kind of like, okay, <laughs> whatever you want. But at some point I'm just going to start, like if it works and I feel like, all right, I got good tightness. I got good confidence in it. I'm going to buy the next batch on his credit card. Um, but I'm going to go out of pocket because it is an experiment. And it is my experiment. It's not like he's asking me to try out this stuff and these tools. And they're expensive fittings. And he doesn't, you know, he might think it's cool. And he, I don't know, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm playing around on <laughs> company time in some regards. Um, I'm trying to find a better way. It's not a complete, you know. Uh, idiocy uh, experiment in idiocy it's uh, I, I feel it's valid it might not be economically valid but it's for me but it's uh, it, company wise and just professional wise I think it's cool you know I, I do I think it's cool and um, I think that I, I can't imagine it being bad that's the whole thing it's like the whole risk of it is like all right, if you do it like they say, you dope the inside and you dope the outside and push it in, and then you crimp it. All right, I could see that crimp like pushing a disproportionate amount of the uh, of the chemical bonding agent uh, into the pipe, and that being an issue. Um, but I think if it's applied with a, a rational degree of um, uh, respect, then it can only help. It could. Like, I can't imagine. You, I mean, you're you're basically making a second level bond besides a compression fitting. You're you're making a chemical weld. Um, so you'd have a in a perfect world. Let's say you caught the the edge. You have a chemical weld. Well, no, you have a mechanical press weld. Then you have a chemical weld. Then you have a rubber gasket, and then you have another chemical weld with a press weld. It's it's next level if you can kind of hit that mark. Um, I wouldn't want to ever like dope up the inside of the pipe. You know, maybe if I had like a Q-tip, I'd do the O-ring and like just the O-ring and then slide it on. You know, like something stupid like that. But I would like be cautious about getting it on the pipe and pushing that dope into the into the. Uh, the refrigerant flow 
you know, it, they say it's compatible, but if it solidifies, it's not going to be compatible with a metering device, you know, if it breaks loose. So the whole point is to avoid that at any cost. And, you know, if I can achieve that and get an even tighter fitting that's even more secure, then I feel like I'm doing everybody a service. And uh, if I can do that, then that's cool. And if not, I, you know, if I feel like it's a waste or something or, you know, whatever, it's, it's solidified like something stupid. Like I can't get the timing right. It's that it, you got like 30 seconds. So you, you dope it and then you put it on and then you press it. If I can't get that timing right and I don't, I don't feel like it's really, um, flowing or sealing or I'm getting leaks or whatever then I only wasted you know $80 of my money I didn't experiment with the boss's money but I'll tell you what if I have you know if I'm pulling 15 minute 200 micron vacuums and I'm holding four or 500 psi pressure tests He's buying the next bottle. He's buying 10 bottles. And he's going to buy the Zoomer Clinics. Um, you know, I like the idea of on these little systems having my torch out and doing my thing. It's my art. I love it. It's how I make my living. But on some of these bigger jobs, especially where you're dealing with, you know, a, a big split system, the torch is out. You burn a lot of gas. You are and a lot of nitrogen if you're doing it right and it's, you know the tubing bender to you can basically chase your tail a lot of times wasting time or to avoid fittings or try not to melt siding and if this thing can alleviate all those concerns and i feel is a bond that is commensurate with with a weld i'm gonna i'm gonna run with it in residential applications and i think that this one two punch i'm a big fan of combinations i think that nothing works in by itself he needs a you need a, a one two punch but it's a it's an experiment and i'm 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 doing it with my money but i'm doing it to make somebody else money, which is weird, but it's an experiment. I'm going to try it. Yeah. So I spent the money. I, I don't know. The guy seemed pretty cool. He seemed like he's got his business and it's an interesting concept. I would just would never trust a, a, a relative, what seems like a glue or uh, under pressure. I just, it, it, I wouldn't trust it for domestic water when people were doing like the, the CPVC domestic water. I was like, you're nuts, you're nuts. And that's only 60 PSI. It's not, it's a stable temperature, 60 PSI. I was still like, you're nuts. But underneath the crimp that's already been kind of time tested, I feel a little bit more comfortable as a second layer. I, I think it, it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, it's just a matter of not overdoing it and, uh, you know, burning through a bunch of TXVs. Because <clears throat> that would be uh, not cool. Nobody wants to replace a TXV. Not even somebody who enjoys piping. Nobody. It's not fun. All right, that's it. I just thought I'd share my little uh, experimentation idea. I'm going to test it out. My boss said I could. Later.